In this video, I will show you how to use the Pathfinder or the Shape Builder tool. It's important to keep in mind that when you're using the Pathfinder tool, you have to use just paths when using this tool or the Shape Builder tool. Yeah, let's go with Shape Builder. So, all right, let me show you an example here. Let's see, I use the Bezier tool and draw something that's quite like a box. Remove all fill and leave the stroke. I'm going to increase the stroke to 5 so it's visible. Alright, and then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to rotate. Alright, so what do I want to create? I want to create something that's like a box. But now, let me show you what's going to happen when I try to use the Shape Builder tool to do this. So as you can see, you find nothing because those are strokes. Using the Shape Builder tool, you need to use the path. You need to use paths. So basically what we do is we come back here and uh, to turn a stroke into a path, you simply come to path and you turn the stroke into a path this using Inkscape and now that we've done that you see that it is editable now in this form you can use the notes tool and edit it so what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to the shape builder tool and you'll find that this thing is available for editing here so you can click on this portion that we wanted right now I'm just clicking so it's selecting the portions that I'm clicking but if I wanted everything to be one, I would just click and hold. See what's going on? I All right. The reason why I'm not able to do that now is because this is kind of tiny. Or oh, let me just show you. I click here and you pull. This is now one line. Okay. So click, click, and click. So now if I click on finish here, you notice that. This is the only shape I have in here and we could not do that before because those are strokes. Now that we've converted them into paths, we can actually use that here. So if you check my first video on the Shape Builder tool, I made a kind of B logo. Whereas now I'm just going to show you how the thing works. Alright, so let's do this. And then I'm going to draw a box. Now that we've selected all of them, I'm going to click on the Shape Builder tool here and huh, no issue. Usually there are some cases when, where you use a stroke and a fill at once like you have the stroke and the fill, it's going to cause a lot of errors. So, Alright, so let's do what we wanted to do here, we can do this and if you notice now this is one shape right, if I click on finish, that's done. And uh, if I go back, I also select all and I click on the shape builder tool and I press shift. You'll see that it's like deleting the space, right? So if I do this and I have deleted that area, meaning that I'll have just this area left. And that is about how the shape builder tool works. Now, this is just a few functions of the shape builder tool. And let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos on this because I would be glad to do that. Thank you for watching up to this point and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.